Hello, my name is Alan Zhao Xing Liu, currently a CMU and incoming assistant professor at Boston University. Today, I'm giving a preview about the papers in this year's sitcom on the topic of natural telemetry. So my goal here is not giving any details about these papers, but trying to establish some background knowledge around this topic and trying to help you understand the importance and excitement around these problems. So first of all, what is natural telemetry? So telemetry is about natural operators and administrator to collect and analyze measurement to understand what is happening in the network for operation and management. For example, the natural operator might care about the following information, like what are the largest flow in the current network? Are there any flow with high packet loss? Or is that ongoing sync flood attack? So now you understand what is telemetry, right? So why is the thing? Why we need to care about it? Because when we manage the network, we need to understand, first of all, what's going on in the network. Then we need to use this information to enable timely and accurate control decisions. Let me give a few example scenario to see why it is the case. For example, if there is an attacker launching a distributed knife service attack to your network, what can we do about it? So we really need to understand what's happening by identifying all these attacks and then use this information to enable attack mitigation. Here's the second example. So if there is something wrong about the network, we rely on telemetry system to detect network performance anomalies, right? Because people are complaining about, you know, my network is really slow, performance has issues, okay. Then we have the telemetry detected. Then we use this information to do the troubleshooting and the performance fixes. So there'll be many, many more such examples. But the key message I want to deliver here is that telemetry is the key to manage the network, to improve its security, performance, and reliability. With a complete loop between telemetry and control, Telemetry becomes a key enabler to let networks run themselves. Like the control has uh, some certain needs, understand different aspects of the network and let telemetry to do that. It's like top down or the telemetry will keep like reporting some anomaly events and let the control to do the reaction. It's kind of bottom up. So however, getting telemetry right has many requirements. So this can be a very long list based on operator and administrator's needs. But usually, we're expecting telemetry solutions to achieve high accuracy, that the measure results are accurate enough to support for the actions. And high result efficiency that we can use only small amount of memory and computation resources to achieve our telemetry goals. And we want to do high scalability that can scale to thousands of devices or even more and support millions or billions number of flows or process terabytes or even higher traffic. And we expect, uh, we expect our solution to be highly general and flexible because we want to support many, uh, many different telemetry queries at the same time and, near, and nearly real time. So given all these requirements, we can look at some example telemetry solutions. So first of all, the most natural one can be default capture and we store everything or do offline analysis. Certainly you get full accuracy, but usually they are not you know, resource efficient and cannot scale to like high volume of traffic. Although they can handle multiple tasks together, but because of the computation heaviness, usually it's not real time. So alternatively, people do sampling, trying to sample some data from the network traffic to compute some statistics like uh, net flow or S flow. So, they are resource efficient, scalable, and general because you can adjust the sampling rates, but the accuracy cannot be guaranteed. And many literature has show that they are not accurate enough uh, to, towards many of these tasks. So to address the drawback of sampling, researchers are trying to propose a sketching technique. So sketching is in a class of algorithm that trying to uh, optimally estimate some certain functions from the data. Like uh, this algorithm are usually uh, highly accurate with some bounded arrows and uh, they are result efficient 
and can scale to like a large volume of traffic. But generality could be an issue, but recent advances in scheduling also demonstrate that we can design some like algorithm to, uh, to do multiple tasks at using one algorithm, so achieve certain generality. And also there will be some other custom approaches, like, like they are uh, some have some algorithm to achieve high accuracy, resource efficiency, scalability for one particular task. So they are not general. So while we are keeping pushing towards all these uh, uh, solutions and trying to improve them, there will be also some new trains on telemetry. First of all, we keep seeing diverse telemetry types and tasks, and there will be def definitely new tasks keep coming out. Like for flow monitoring, we have heavy hitters, flow changes, or number of distinct flows. And for packet te telemetry, we can record certain uh, functions like uh, timestamp, querying delay, or querying occupancy, etc., to add into the every packet. And for performance-related metrics, we can check uh, like um, packet loss, auto order packets, or small TCP windows, etc. And second, we will see diverse network platforms. Like uh, traditional, we have uh, CPU and we have uh, the network function virtualization that definitely you need, also need telemetry deployed there. And we also have new devices, new hardware devices, programmable switches, a PGA or smart NICs. They can provide programmability with guaranteed high line rate, but they usually come with very limited like memory and like uh, memory access parts. And third, there will be diverse traffic patterns. So one recent example, unfortunately, the COVID-19, that many people have to work from home. And then that dramatically changed the internet traffic patterns. So we expect all our telemetry solution can also support a variety kinds of traffic patterns, provide accurate results for like anomaly detection, et cetera. So given all these new trends. This year's telemetry session composes of a uh, set of uh, very interesting papers that cover a wide spectrum of telemetry types. And they are exploring new programmable platforms while trying to give some new insight by connecting theory and practice. So the first telemetry type the, the papers will cover is flow level monitoring. So fluid tavern monitoring means given a, a string of network packets, so each packet associated with some flow key, like say at five tuple or South IP destination IP. So like A, B, C, D, E here. So you aggregate all this traffic into different flows, like flow A, flow B with different sizes. So the flow monitoring usually try to estimate some statistics about these all flows. For example, heavy hitters, what that would be the largest flow in the network, or count distinct, the count number of distinct flow following some certain flow keys, or entropy. So in this domain, there will be two papers presenting this year's second. One is called Omniman, Rearchitecting Natural Telemetry with Resource Efficiency and Full Accuracy. So this paper is from Peking University, Chinese Academy of Science, Chinese University of Hong Kong, and Microsoft Research. So the platform they've been targeted on is programmable switch and end-host CPU. So with constrained memory and CPU resources. So what's new about this paper is you're trying to achieve better resource efficiency for full accuracy telemetry. So usually full accuracy telemetry is considered resource heavy. But given in a network wide setting, you have multiple devices to deploy this, we can do better. So the challenge is how to reduce this unnecessary resource cost while maintaining consistency and reliability among multiple different devices. So the key idea in this paper is called split and merge. So we have multiple devices. Instead of just consider different devices separately, you're trying to decompose telemetry into partial operations and spread out into multiple different devices. And once you need it, you need coordinate between this devices and merge the result to get the final result. So please attend their talk for more information. The second paper is called Bokum, answering many natural traffic queries, one memory update at a time from Princeton University. So the platform that we target on is programmable switch with limited memory access. And 
what's new about this paper is that they're trying to handle multiple contesting queries simultaneously on a programmable switch, a single switch, with just the one memory access per packet. Because this memory access is really a bottleneck in these programmable switch devices. So what I've had about this uh, achieving this goal is trying to support these multiple queries, obviously, with strictly one memory update. Well, we still want a good accuracy. So the key idea behind this paper is we're trying to make a connection between coupon collector problem in probabilistic theory and a count distinct problem in network telemetry. And then trying to develop some mechanism to tune the coupon collector, the parameters of that, for achieving good accuracy for multiple queries. For more information, please uh, attend their talk. So the second telemetry type will be covered is packet and pass level telemetry. So what it means is that for every packet traverse, the network goes through a, a list of devices on, on, on the, its pass, then they need to collect a bunch of information about this device and its packet like, for example, they collect uh, some information from this device and the second device, third device, and fourth device. And finally, you gather together some telemetry metadata. So this metadata can be like some switch ID, some timestamp, some ingress, egress ports, and queue lens or occupancy, etc. And with this metadata, we can answer certain packet level or pass level queries, like, uh, you know, like latency, uh, round trip time, etc and some pass, like lost pass. So in this domain, there will be one paper presented uh, in this session. So it's called PINT, Probabilistic in by Natural Telemetry. It's from uh, Harvard, uh, USC, uh, Queen Mary University of London. So the platform they target on is programmable switch and try to use the programmability to reconfigure the packet headers. And What's new about it is that uh, the standard tool in this programmable switch is called INT, Embed Network Telemetry, that they need to add information, as I showed in the previous slide, that you need to add information for every packet on every device. And that actually incurs an entry packet overhead. You know, if it goes to many devices, the packet overhead will be very large. Then they try to propose a method trying to reduce this per packet overhead while still preserving similar INT. So the trend lies on how we can you know, achieve the similar visibility with bounded overhead cost. So to achieve this goal, the key idea behind this paper is trying to not record every telemetry information on every packet, on every device like INT. They turn to probabilistic. This probabilistic is spread out information across multiple devices and multiple packets. Then you can do it with lower cost. So the third telemetry part is called performance-related monitoring. So it is about when you have traffic traversing the entire network and trying to identify certain events about package job, out of order packets, or current data structure related to the network performance. So there will be one paper this, uh, trying to uh, address problems in this domain. So it's called flow event telemetry on programmable data plane. It's from uh, Alibaba and uh, Tsinghua University. So the platform they've been targeted on is programmer switch as well, but they're trying to fully leverage probability to achieve flow level, um, like uh, pro performance uh, related events. And the, what's new about this paper is that they're trying to build a new uh, network monitor can continuously check performance related events and on, the on the data plan entirely. And uh, they, they say that the traditional probing tools and the packet uh, telemetry tools do not work well because they have high overhead and high latency. So the challenge is that given such a uh, monitor, you have to continue to do, do the monitoring. You have to achieve uh, like coverage, scalability, and accuracy on very limited amounts of resources on program switches. Like the key idea behind this to achieve this is that you're trying to use both sides of a link to collaboratively discover the inter-switch events to achieve the coverage. And then they have to do some um, um, aggregation, compression, and batch to batch certain events together to help uh, lower the resource overhead. Please attend their talk in, uh, in fact, in a separate session called Switch Coordinability in Wednesday. So 
Finally, let's talk about packet classification as a telemetry related task. So packet classification is about, do you have certain packets with different property like source IP, destination IP, or destination ports that you have to go through the switch to match certain rules. For example, you can match one rules or multiple rules and be classified to do multiple different job, uh, different actions. So under this problems, there will be one, one particular paper that is called a computational approach to packet classification from Technion. So the platform they've been jazzing is a CPU and software platform that with limited up layer L1 and L2 caches. So traditionally, our packet classification in software platforms are not scalable because you know the, the up layer caches are too small. If you add more rules that will go out of your L1, L2 caches because these tasks are memory bound, so you can see a very, you know, drop the performance. So the idea is trying to, you know, transform from memory bound to computation bound. So what's hard about this is like how we can really compress the, the, the rule tables, right? And still preserving high accuracy. So the key idea behind is that we're trying to turn in packet classification problem into neural network model inference, right? So you learn an inference model that represents your root table. And that root table will be very compact. So please attend their talk. So let me conclude. So please attend telemetry session. There will be four paper in Tuesday and one paper in Wednesday, which in another session. And please join the Slack channels, ask questions and for the QA. And sometimes enjoy your lunch. So if you see there are some cons or pros about attending these talks, I think there will be interesting telemetry problems and interesting uh, method and algorithm and new insights. In terms of cons, I couldn't think of any really. So please enjoy. If you have any questions, please leave it on Slack. Thank you so much.